Hi again and welcome to our 13th test and measurement video on today's amazing oscilloscopes. Again, our subject is the Tektronics MDO3104 instrument. We'll continue to look into its extensive math functionality, this time examining one of the complex operators, the Fast Fourier Transform, FFT. Previously, we saw that the simple functions add, subtract, multiply, and divide can be accessed by feeding two waveforms such as sine and square wave into any two analog channels. By pressing the appropriate soft keys, one signal can be made to modify the other and the result is shown. The two inputs are displayed in the dedicated colors for the two channels used and the sum, difference, and product or quotient is shown in red. All three signals are shown in a single display. Let's turn now to the more complex operators. The ironic thing is that for the simple operators two signals are required, while for the more complex operators one signal will suffice. Let's begin by inputting a sine wave from the AFG into channel 1. Actually, you could use a real-time signal from an outside source via a probe, a reference signal from the oscilloscope memory, or a signal imported from the memory of another oscilloscope via a flash drive inserted into a USB slot. For today's demonstration, we'll need a single BNC cable run from the AFG output port to the back of the instrument. It'll go to the analog channel 1 input port at the front. Press AFG, the bottom button above the analog channel 1 input port. Then press the waveform soft key below the screen. Multipurpose knob A can be used to select the waveform. created by the oscilloscope's internal function generator. Let's try the sine wave. Then you can push menu off to clear the screen. Press math and the soft keys become active. Press FFT to reveal the fast Fourier transform of the sine wave. As always, the signal being accessed is shown in the analog channel's dedicated color, in this instance yellow for channel 1, and the resu result of the operation is shown in red. Notice that the power measured in decibels is all concentrated in the fundamental, as indicated by the huge spike at the left of the display. The fluctuating trace across the bottom is the noise floor. It appears quite prominent, a consequence of the fact that the oscilloscope is a very sensitive auto-ranging instrument. We can press AFG so as to access a number of waveforms. We stay in the FFT mode. Press the Waveform Soft key and using multipurpose knob A, shift over to the square wave. Press menu off three times. This clears the display and we can see what the fast Fourier transform of the square wave looks like. What a difference! Notice that a sizable amount of power is concentrated outside the fundamental. That is because with its fast rise time and fall time, the square wave generates copious amounts of power throughout a large band. Thanks for watching. In our next test and measurement video, number 14, we'll look at some more advanced math functions contained in the Tektronix MDO 3014 circuitry.